One reason why copyright law treats text data mining research differently in different countries is that some jurisdictions have amended their copyright laws with text data mining in mind, whereas most have not. But even where legislative accommodations have been made, the text and intent of the relevant provisions varies. Only a handful of countries have specific exemptions for text data mining research. In 2009, Japan became the first country to adopt an express exemption for text data mining. Between 2014 and 2018, the United Kingdom, France, Estonia and Germany also enacted laws specific to text data mining. In 2019, the European Union adopted the Digital Single Market Directive, which includes two separate provisions meant to enable TDM research under different conditions. None of these laws are exactly the same, and they probably all differ from the legal position in the United States to some degree. Because of this lack of uniformity, even cross-border research collaborations between jurisdictions that both support TDM research might run into obstacles. To give you a sense of what these obstacles might be, we're going to summarize some of the key points of differentiation between the law as we understand it in the United States and those jurisdictions that have enacted copyright exceptions meant to enable TDM research. There doesn't appear to be any relevant commercial, non-commercial distinction with respect to TDM research and fair use in the United States. In contrast, in the UK, in contrast, the UK text mining provision is limited to non-commercial research and the European DSM directive takes a bifurcated approach. The robust text mining rights in Article 3 only apply to non-commercial research institutions, whereas the weaker rights in Article 4 are available to all. It's possible that when other jurisdictions address the question of text data mining and fair use or fair dealing, that they might draw a distinction between commercial and non-commercial users. We don't think that this is how the law should be interpreted, but courts don't always do what we think they should do. Finally, on this point of commercial use, it's worth repeating that some of the general research rights we discussed before only apply to non-commercial research. Exclusion of some exclusive rights. In the United States, the non-expressive use of a work in relation to text mining will not infringe any of the copyright owner's exclusive rights. The situation is not so clear overseas. The text mining provisions in Articles 3 and 4 of the European Union Digital Single Market Directive apply to the reproduction right, but they don't apply to the European right of communication to the public, the right of making available to the public, or the right of adaptation. Although the reproduction right will usually be the primary concern in text mining research if you are trying to establish a corpus, these other rights could be triggered by subsequent uses of the corpus. Lawful access. The EU directive and some other laws require that TDM databases be made only with works to which a researcher has, quote, lawful access. This is not required by any of the US precedents on text data mining. Overriding contractual and technological restrictions. Article 3 of the DSM directive does not allow private contracts, i.e. a publisher's license, to override the data mining right. There is no rule like this in the United States. The fact that a US researcher violated a contract that limited her ability to engage in text mining is unlikely to detract from her assertion of fair use, but her fair use argument is equally unlikely to count for much in a breach of contract suit. We don't yet have any guidance on how the EU contractual override provision interacts with the lawful access requirement. The rights under Article 3 of the DSM Directive are also not subject to the usual restrictions that apply to overcoming technological protection measures or digital rights management restrictions on access. Again, this is not the law in the US. Security measures and retention of copies. In the United States, the fair use status of TDM research may be contingent on taking reasonable security measures to protect the corpus from unauthorized use beyond the parameters of fair use. Article 3 of the DSM deals with the retention of works copied as part of a text mining process in a similar way. 
Under the Article 3 exception, the covered organisation must adopt an appropriate level of security and may retain works for the purposes of scientific research, including the verification of research results. However, researchers relying on Article 4 face more restrictive conditions. Under Article 4, the works may be retained only for as long as is necessary for the purpose of text and data mining.